it's me. I just wanted to call and tell you that I love you. Who's me? It's me. Come on, you know who it is. No, I don't. Who is it? Well, I love you. Tell me who me is. Take a guess. You have to tell me. I'm not saying. Why not? Because I want to know who you think could be calling you and saying this, aside from me. My Diane. Hello? Yes? And what's going on? What's wrong? I want to get married. And I just proposed to you. And? How could you propose to me? Uh, how could I propose to you? Yeah. How could I not propose to you? Are you drunk? No. Nope. Are you sure? Are you? A little bit. <laughs> That's why you talk to the seller. Well, I'm still going to get married. What do you say? Come on, let's go to Vegas. What's wrong with you? I want to go to Vegas and elope. <laughs> What's going on? Talk to me. Um, I'm telling you like a lot of stuff here. I want to go to Vegas. I want to elope. You know, uh, and now you're saying what's going on? Why don't you want to go to Vegas with me? What is wrong with Why are you calling me to tell me that you love me? Because I do. Just like that, out of the book. Yes. And you tell me, what made you love me? What was it that came to you that made you love me? Um, what made me love you? You know, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. But you made me love you. And, you know, all the time you knew it. You know, I, I guess you uh, always knew it. You know, it's because you make me happy. You make me sad. And sometimes, I'm telling you, you make me really mad. That's why I love you. Oh, that's good. So, what's, what's the story now? What do you want to tell me more? I'm watching Judge Judy. And what does that do for you? What does Judge Judy do for me? Yeah. Um, she follows the law. Maybe she can marry us. <laughs> Is she ordained? Are you asleep? You're awake? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I don't know. It sounds like you're going in and out of consciousness. So, will you marry me or not? I know you're breaking chops on me, so what is it that you called me for besides this? You won't talk to me. You won't tell me nothing. You just call me, and then that's it. There's no previous, and there's no present. It's just what you have to say. That was, there's no previous and there's no yeah, present. Okay. What would make you call me and say I love you? What would make you do that? I had a dream. Well, you're not telling me anything. I you're had not a... giving me any forward. You're not giving me any summary. You're just telling me I love you and I want to get married. I, okay, you want a summary? Uh, no, I want the forward. I want, I want a blow by blow to the point where that you called me. What was going on? Um... I woke up this morning, and I felt like P. Diddy. You felt like what? Nothing. Um, I just wanted to hit the city. You oh, know, oh. before before I left, I grabbed a bottle of Jack because I wasn't going to come back. And where did you leave from? 
the club. Yeah, but where, where were you before you went to hit the city? I was, um, I was at, you know, I was out, you know. Yeah, but where were you? What city are you talking about? Uh, the Los Angeles. Los Angeles City. Yeah, the Los Angeles City. The Los Angeles. And how'd you get to the Los Angeles City? I took a plane. And who'd you go with? Maurice. Maurice. You know, Maurice. Do you like Maurice? Are you asleep? No, I'm right here listening, but it doesn't make any sense. Well, you know what? This is what I did. I woke up, I got on a plane, went to Los Angeles City. I said, you know what? Vegas is not far from here. We can get married. We can elope. And then, you know, I'm on the phone with you. Because I had the dream where I realized, you know, this is it. Like, we have to get married. Where did you leave from? Uh, New York. You left New York? And went to Los Angeles. The now, city of... What were you doing in New York? What was I doing in New York? Yeah. I was auditioning for um, a Broadway show. I didn't get in, by the way, so don't, you know, don't ask me how I did. And what, well, who did you have to audition for? Gary Marshall. Oh, Gary Marshall. Gary Marshall. And Steven Spielberg. They're doing a Princess Diaries Broadway show, and I auditioned to play um, the queen, the grandma, Julie Andrews. And I didn't get it. Who do you think you're talking to? Who do I think I'm talking to? Yeah. Are you saying it like as like who do you who do you think you're talking who, to? No, who are you talking to? What's the person's the name you're talking to? Right now? Right now. Are you playing a joke on me? No, I'm asking you serious. You called me, you said to me you love me. Who is it that you're telling you love? You. Who? What's my name? Oh, come on. I wanna know. You want to know? Yeah. What, do you have Alzheimer's? Yeah, you tell me my name. You know what? I'm just going to say that we're going to go to Vegas and we're going to get you married. tell me what my name is. Kanye. Who? Mark. Uh, you got the wrong I name. said Bill. You said I name. said no. John. No, no it's name. Kevin. Obvious. It's Peter. It's William. Yeah. It's Bill. Yeah. You got the wrong Billy person. Bob. Huh? Billy Bob. Yeah. You got the wrong Ray Charles. Whoopi Goldberg. Number. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Barbara Walters. Look, okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. You want to know why? Because I still love you. Okay, okay. Are you asleep? You got the wrong person. I am the right person. No, you don't. You are the right person no, for you don't. me. You don't even know my name. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I do. I was just pretending before that I didn't, but I obviously do. What do you think? I'm just calling random people I don't know? Yeah, yeah, you're calling to make a joke. I'm not making a joke. I am serious. Well, then you tell me where we met. If you could tell me exactly where we met, then I'll believe you're serious. Okay, fine. I, I can tell you where we met. Yeah. Obviously. So I know it's a fake of me. You raise really good questions. Um, Whoever leading you up to doing this, they blew it. They, they, you know. Because they ain't smarter than me. They ain't smarter than you. Nobody's smarter than you. But I'm just saying, I think that we should get married in a loop. Where did you meet me? I met you when I was rollerblading. 
Just kidding. I met you when we were with our friends. Come on, we were with our friends. See, it is me. You still haven't answered the question. You still don't know what you're talking to. I do know who I'm talking to. Well, then tell me my name. I... A simple little name. Nobody could forget my name. Everybody knows my name. Well, excuse me. Um, you know what? Like, it's me, Diane. So, obviously I know who this is. Yeah, but you don't know my name. You're right, I don't. And you told me you left from New York City because you were auditioning. I did. But that's not where the person I know lives. They don't live in New York City. I never said I lived in New York City. I said I left where, from. Where do you live? Before you went to the city to audition for a part. Florida. So how'd you get to Florida? Uh, I drove. With what? A flying car. Okay. You're judging me, and you're, you know, I don't Why think you're taking this seriously. You? you called me, you said I love you, but you don't know my name. You tell me we met rollerblading, which never happened. And now you're telling me that I'm judging. That's love? <laughs> which one of these guys put you up to doing this to me? Tell me. Nobody put me up to it, but I just think that, you Who know... Who were you with before you decided to get married? Which guy were you with? What's his name? Brian. Yeah, see, so you really don't know who you're talking to. Well, so what? You don't know who you're talking to. Since when does that matter? <laughs> And if you were in New York City, you would know where I am. Okay, listen. The where point am I that you're calling me? Where do I live? The fact remains is that I still want to get married in Vegas, and honestly, it doesn't even matter if I don't remember your name. I told you I was drunk. Where do I live that you're calling me? I told you I was a little bit drunk, and That's you... Okay. I mean, I don't mind a person being a little high. It don't bother me none. Even if you were drunk or if you were drunk, it don't matter to me. That's destructive. Um, I said it. It's my worst nightmare. I would know what I'm talking about. And I'm a guy. But you don't even know where I live. Uh, if you don't want to go to Vegas, we can go anywhere else. Tell me where I live. We, you know what? Have you ever heard of Paris? Who? Paris? Paris. Have I heard of Paris? Have you heard of Paris? I've, I've, everyone knows about Paris. Everyone knows about Paris, just like everyone knows your name. But if anybody knew me, they would know, oh, he would never go there. He would never go to Vegas. He would never go to Paris. He would never go to Los Angeles. Well, what? Are you in hibernation? Now tell me, where do I live? Are you too good for Paris? Tell me where I live. You're too good for Vegas? You're too good for Paris? Who are you? That's what I'm telling you. You don't know who you're talking to. I just don't recognize you. Right. You got the wrong guy. But I know who it is. I just, I feel like you're not being who you no, are. No, you don't. You have the wrong guy. I don't have the wrong guy. You do. And whoever you love so much is very lucky. But it's not me. It's somebody else. Okay, and you know what? There's a little bit of a curveball to this. Okay, because I'm pregnant. Right, that's right. See, so you got the wrong dude. No, like I'm, ne I'm like newly, recently. So you're like what? I, I am just, I just found out. And how many kids have you had so far? Zero. Zero? Zero. This is your first kid. Yep, that's right. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 
I think it might it might be yours. So that's it? You don't even want to know anything about him? I asked her already what my name is. I asked her where I live. I asked her all the perfect questions, and you can't answer any of them because you were drinking. But I said I'm pregnant. How could I be drinking? drinking? How could I be pregnant and drinking, sir? You blame it on drinking. But I'm pregnant. You blame it on drinking. The best of us do. You don't know my name. You don't know where I live. See? So how can you start a relationship like that? We're finishing it in Vegas. How can you start a relationship like that? I don't know. How do you start a relationship like that? Not by calling somebody up that I don't know their name. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? On your, on your lunch hour, being put up to calling me up. Yes. I mean, come on. Yes, yes, all of it, all of it's true. Listen, listen, listen. We're breaking up. Like I'm breaking up with you. Okay, good. Okay, so it's over. It's over. Thank you. It's I'm never free. been more over. I'm free. You're free, okay? You're free. It's over. I'm dumping you. Good. So, you know, there you go. Forget Vegas. You were all excited to go to Vegas. Forget it. <laughs> you called the wrong person. You're not talking to the person that you think you need to be talking to. Are you married? Yeah. You're not married? I am married. You know that. I know, I forgot. You got the wrong person. Do you have kids? Does it matter if I have kids or not? Where did when did you get married? Does it matter when I got married? You just don't know who you're talking to, I'm telling you. Where did you meet your wife? I asked you all those questions and you couldn't answer me. Well you're sitting here calling me asking me these questions, so I get to ask you now. I didn't call you, you called me. No, you called me. <laughs> you called me. Where are you calling from? Vegas. Huh, see? So how did you get the number? Look. Honestly, well, how did you get the number that you called? I asked you where you came from. You said New York City. <laughs> you know... Now, I'm honest. I'm being very honest with you. I'm not teasing you. I'm not breaking your chops. You called from, you said you left New York City and you went to Los Angeles and now you're in Vegas, right? That's what you told me, right? Yep. But yet, how close were you to me that you didn't even call me when you were right around the corner from where I am? I'm losing you here. If I was in New York City and standing there watching you audition for your part, how come you didn't come over to me and say, I love you, I want to marry you? Because I was busy auditioning. Right, and now all of a sudden, you're calling me. Are you a detective? Thousand miles away. You're putting all these clues together. Are you a detective? Because <laughs> you're really remembering stuff that I don't even remember. Because I've been drinking. But you said you're not drinking because you're pregnant. I did. So then, what does it all mean? I don't know. You have to tell me. I didn't call you. You called me. You called me. And I think that you have the wrong person. Wait. Unless you're one of my buddies, my cousin, somebody's putting you up to it. Wait, is this... is this Matthew? I'm telling you, you got the wrong guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that this was Matthew. Okay, you have a good day. I'm sorry. Goodbye. No problem. What the heck was that? Okay, um, my uh, flip cam shut down. I think it died in the middle of that. 
And uh, so I ran over here as quick as I could. I tried to keep him on the phone so I could start filming the rest of it. So um, I don't think you missed anything when it stopped, but yeah. So you got the rest of it here. Um, that was the weirdest thing in the world. He stayed on the phone for like the longest time ever. I think that's like a record. Um, whoa, that was weird. That was like the craziest, most involved prank call prank call I've ever done. So please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe because I do prank call videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. So if you want more of these, definitely subscribe. Watch them every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, thumbs up, comment, and share them with your friends. And that's it. Bye.